Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at revolvers, eight new revolvers in today's market. Most of these are out and available now, others are yet to be released, but they're all very cool in their own special way. There's a wide variety of revolvers here. If you're a revolver fan, you're gonna like what's featured, so let's get to it. This year we saw Taurus release their Taurus Tracker 692 multi-caliber revolver. It comes with two unfluted cylinders, this one in 38 Special and 357 Magnum, and another one in 9mm. Each of the cylinders carry seven rounds. It's an overbuilt revolver that I think is very good looking. This one has a 3-inch ported barrel. They have another model with a 6.5-inch ported barrel. It has a ramped up front sight with an orange insert, adjustable rear sight, very spongy grip, tame some of that 357 recoil and a single action trigger pull that I am measuring right at six and a half pounds. The loaded weight is just under 37 ounces. I was very much impressed when I took it to the range. It handled the 357 Magnum recoil very well. I found it to be accurate and a pleasure to shoot. I think this multi-caliber 692 is going to make a lot of shooters happy. Rock Island Armory is releasing some new revolvers this year, and this one here is an eye catcher. It's a 357 snub nose revolver called the AL 3.1. It has a two inch barrel, beautiful look, and nice stainless steel shine to it, and six rounds in the cylinder of 357 Magnum, and those cylinders are recessed. You don't see that too often, but a nice looking revolver. The Single action trigger pull, I'm measuring right at 4 pounds. Very nice trigger action and standard double action trigger pull that's pretty heavy. Pinned in, ramped up front sight, tunneled rear sight, spurred hammer, and a rubber grip. These are made in the Czech Republic, and they're, they're very nice. I took it to the range, shot it. I, I found it to be an excellent shooter. Came that 357 recoil without issue. The Rock Island. AL 3.1 will be a big hit, especially in 2020. For many years, Colt Revolver fans wanted Colt to produce a snake gun that modeled after many of their traditional Colt revolvers. Well, this year they came out with the Colt King Cobra Target, and here it is. It's a beautiful stainless steel revolver with wood grips made by Altamont, a four and a quarter inch barrel, a full underlug. They are marketing this as a competition shooter, and it is very accurate. It does have adjustable rear sights, a fiber optic front sight, and six rounds, 357 Magnum in the cylinder. The single action trigger I am measuring at three and a quarter pounds. Very light trigger. Just an all around beautiful revolver. It, it shoots incredibly well. The short and light single action trigger is amazing. It's weighing loaded 38 and a quarter ounces. I think Colt traditionalists will love it. It's a beautiful looking revolver that surely gets the job done in the most accurate fashion. Here's a standard manufacturing S333 Thunderstruck revolver that is very innovative, unique looking, and a function that we have not seen before. The cylinder carries eight rounds of 22 Magnum, and with each trigger pull, does require two fingers on the trigger, it does have a trigger bar safety. Each double action trigger pull delivers two shots of 22 Magnum out of these double barrels. The barrels are one inch and a quarter long each. Interesting design. A heavy trigger pull, double action only, but it, it does work. It's a close range shooter. It does have a polymer grip there, three dot sights, an aluminum frame weighs just 20 and a quarter ounces loaded. Now the three threes stand for your average self-defense situation takes place within three feet, within three seconds, and three shots fired. Shot That's where they came up with the name, but it's very innovative and people are very much interested in this. There, there is a waiting list of standard manufacturing to get their hands on this Thunderstruck revolver. Here we have the soft shooting Ruger Wrangler. Cowboy action revolver chambered in 22 long rifle. Loading gates right here. Everything is loaded and ejected. 
through the loading gate and that cylinder holds six rounds of 22 long rifle it has a 4.62 inch barrel a bladed front sight and a tunneled rear sight a single action trigger i'm measuring right at five pounds very nice trigger pull very accurate with that long barrel now this one is in silver Cerakote. They have other models in black Cerakote and then another with a bronze Cerakote finish. I like this silver. I think it looks cool with the black cylinder and the black grips. For those looking for a training tool or to get somebody involved with the shooting sports or, or just want to have a great time at the range plinking without spending a lot of money on ammo, the Ruger Wrangler with the single action trigger cowboy action revolver would be a great choice. For 2019, Smith & Wesson added a 10mm revolver to their hunting series called the 610. And it's a beast built on the end frame. It has a 4 inch barrel and a cylinder that carries 6 rounds of 10mm that has become very popular. And it does come with a couple moon clips for quick loading and ejecting. Full underlug, adjustable rear sights, ramped up front sight and a single action trigger pull that I am measuring at four and a half pounds. Very smooth. And the overall weight unloaded is just over 42 ounces. So this is a big, strong revolver. And when I took it to the range, it ate up that 10 millimeter recoil like nothing. You still feel it, but it's a, it's a big, heavy end frame revolver that people could hunt with if that is their choice. Here we have the Taurus 856 Ultralight Snub Nose Revolver that is very small and lightweight. It has a 2 inch barrel and a cylinder that carries 6 rounds of 38 Special. It is also plus P rated. The loaded weight 18 and a half ounces. The frame is aluminum. The color of this is called burned orange. I think it, it looks red, but Taurus is calling it burned orange. They have many different color combinations. I like the way it looks with the black rubber grip that feels great. The black cylinder, crane, and barrel. Has a ramped up front sight, tunneled rear sight, and spurred hammer. The double action trigger pull is a bit heavier as one would expect, but the single action trigger pull I measure right at six pounds i took it to the range it fired great handled each and every round i put through it including those plus p rounds i think people who want a lightweight pocket carry choice this 856 would suit them just fine another rock island armory revolver that people are talking about is right here it's called the al 9.0 it's a little bit larger with a three inch barrel but it does carry six rounds but this time it's chambered in nine millimeter which is why it comes with moon clips for easy ejection, being that the 9mm is a rimless case. But here it is. It does have adjustable rear sights and a high ramp front sight with an orange insert for a very nice sight picture. Same grip that the AL 3.1 has. And essentially the same single action trigger pull that I measure right around 4 pounds. Now a lot of people like common calibers within their firearms. They may have a carbine to 9mm, a semi-auto in 9mm. This allows them to have a revolver in 9mm that is extremely accurate and very low recoil. I think people who are fans of the 9mm will love this AL 9.0. So there it is. We've had some big revolvers and we've had some small revolvers. Let me know what you think. The ones that you like, the ones that you don't really care for, or the ones that I missed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.